appeal is coming. Here's another chart for mass appeal. How you doing, Lauren? Good. How are you All doing, right. Dan? I'm doing, I'm doing awesome. Okay. So this this song is Dog Days by Florence and the Machine. So this is another one of the songs that that hundreds of guitar players are going to be playing in Union Square on June 21st um, as part of Make Music New York, uh, just massive music marathon of instruments all over the New York, uh, New York City. So this is how you play Dog Days by Florence and the Machine. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm going to show you the chords that you use. The chords, there's only three chords. They're G. I'm using a, if you zoom in on this, you'll see these chords nice and close. I'm using a four finger G just because it gives me an extra, a D, an extra fifth to give it a more ringing noise, but you can play any G you want. And then there's an A minor an E minor. And that's it. Those are all the chords. Now, in music, things happen in sets of four and eight usually. And in this song, it's no exception. It happens in sets of eight. So the set of eight goes like this. The, the, you can think of it as four and four. The first, the first four are G. One G, two Gs, three Gs, four Gs. Now here comes the next four. G, A minor, E minor, E minor. That's it. That's basically the whole song. You can play it with a bunch of different rhythms. The simplest way, if you're a brand new beginner, that's okay. Grab your guitar anyway and just play it like this. I'm going to count you in. It's going to be G, 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 A minor, E minor, E minor. Sound like this. Dog days are over, over the dog. Sounds great. Let's make it trickier. Okay, so the next level of expertise would be to play that with the best strum, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. So that would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one. very top of the song, at the very beginning of the song, it'll sound great to play in a higher register. So if, if you imagine just moving your open chords up to the 12th fret, I'm going to put a little bar in at the 12th fret. I'm going to stick my pinky out. That's a little, that's, that's a little piece of a G chord. And I'm going to play the same chords as before, only I'm going to play my G like this. I'm going to play my A minor with one, two, three three fingers in a row on the diagonal, that's a little A minor fingering. I'm just going to leave the bar in for convenience's sake. And then for my E minor, I'm just going to play 
only my first finger across uh, three strings. So, and for this, I'm going to use an alternate picking because uh, that sounds good at, with the very top of the song. So it'll sound like this. There's one G. There's my second G. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Here comes my A minor. Sixth. Here's my E minor. Seven. Finally, for again for the for the advanced players during the the big the Dow days a, a section of the song, you you can you can do a little uh, a little flurry move. Um, so what the way you do this is you, you take your chord and you, you play you, you play with a, a quick down down like this, and it's really fun. Dow days oh, oh, over. Got what you need to play this song. I'll see you on the 21st.